Judge, today's case, track me down. I have a beautiful, great couple here, but there's only one problem. She's doing wife duties at girlfriend prices. I'm gonna have to talk to her. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Giovanni Mendez and Brianna Graham. The two of you have been together for two years. You do not, however, want to be together anymore. Mr. Mendez, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're in divorce court today? Uh, Your Honor, we are here today because my girl Brianna thinks I'm way too overly sexually uh, with her, and she'd be thinking I'm just driving every woman in Los Angeles. Like, that's just not the case. She be uh, thinking I'd just be out here, you know, wild and doing my thing, just because I'm very sexual with her. Okay. Now, Ms. Graham, do you believe he's cheating on you? Um, I say it's a possibility. He thinks he has a high sex drive, but I think there's having a sex drive and then there's being a horn dog, and they're <laughs> two different things. Like, realistically, well, you... what makes him a horn dog? Well, okay. He's genuinely always in the mood. Okay. Um, I don't know anyone who's in the mood that often. Oh, I... you don't watch the book, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. Uh. You should watch the show. <laughs> I've seen some things. Well, I don't want to live with it in my household, but... okay? Well, when you say that he's, he's that, that his sex drive is, is, is beyond normal, how often does he want to have sex every day, um... give or take? I'd say about seven to ten times a day. Seven to ten <laughs> times a day. Do you think that's normal? It just be because I'd be too attracted to her. It's just like, come on, look at her. Right? I just be sometimes in the mood every time I look at her. It's right, just hard to keep right, my hands right. to myself. And you're young. You're I'm 22. Young, I'm 22. I'm Latin. You know, I'm pumping it. I'm, bro- you know, I'm in my prime. I'm you know, good. Like, what? I thought she would find it a little, you know, more nicer than that, but apparently no, not. No, 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 no. You know that I was in the kitchen the other day just trying to make him dinner, trying to be a good girlfriend, and I'm bending over <laughs> trying to get some cheese, and I just feel this behind me, <laughs> over and over, like, I can't get anything done if you're going to constantly initiate sex all throughout the house. What am I supposed to do? I would have said initiate. <laughs> Mr. Mendez, you didn't give her any kind of warning or kind of like oh, no. warm up or no. something? No. I was, just, I was just laying down. I got up. She was in the kitchen. She was getting something from the fridge, and she was bending over. So it was like when I peeked at the kitchen, all I saw was her <laughs> right there. So I was like, <laughs> it just, you know, it was like, let me just go behind her real quick in a very playful manner, though. You see, it was like... Well, it didn't feel playful <laughs> at all. So I don't know what playful is to you, but... <laughs> well, that's now, how you now, play now, with now, now, Mr. Mendez, do you think she's less than... I mean, seven to ten times a day, that's a lot. Is she exaggerating, or is this, is this pretty much what it is? I, I would say she's exaggerating to the no, point. Not. It just be like, during the day, there's a lot of times that it kind of just comes up, or I just feel like, you know, it just... <laughs> certain, it just certain no things that... No pun intended, I'm guessing. <laughs> certain things... I Do you feel. work? No, oh, yes, I work. Constantly. That's one of the issues. She don't work. She doesn't work. She does not work. No, she's at home most of the time. At your home? At my home, yeah, our home. Too. Our home. Our Thank home. <laughs> yeah. So what you doing at his house not working? <laughs> I, like I said, I am cooking, I'm cleaning, I am walking the dogs, I am doing my job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Don't, don't, don't applaud that. Don't, don't, don't shoot that. Applaud that. that. <laughs> what do you don't mean? Don't applaud that. <laughs> This is how it starts. One day you're gonna come in here, 32 years old, three kids in, <laughs> and he won't marry you. Mm. And you're gonna say, why? why? And then he's gonna say, why would I? Mm. Mm. He's got you installed in his life. You've got too much to lose because you've given up achieving and pursuing mm. to clean and care. <laughs> Never do wife duties at girlfriend prices. That's just me to you. Good advice. Do you think he is leering at or pursuing other women? Are you, do you really feel that you're the sole object of his desire? I don't know what he's doing when I'm not around him. So I could feel one way, but he could be doing something totally different. But now, now, do you have any real reason to believe that he's doing anything inappropriate? Because so far, 
You know, horn dog, I'll give you. <laughs> but I don't see any evidence of a cheat. Do you believe that he's doing inappropriate things with other women? I do, because how do you have that much drive and you're not around me all the time? It's constant. His sex drive is constant. So it's not just around me. There are other women all around, at his job, everywhere. So you, you're but not you just... But you have no information. You have no texts, no posts, no... No phone calls, no drive-bys, well, nothing yes. like that. You see, and what she don't understand is when I'm at work, most of the time, you know, I'm keeping my energy composure and all like, you know, calm. And then when I go home, that's when I leave it out. That's when I'm like, yeah, I, right, it, right. I'm like I save it for her. You need some self-control, you know, like... But, really but, I mean, he can't control himself with you. That's all I got right now. I don't have anything to tag him with. And I want it because that's my job. But can I at least show you so you know yes, what you I mean about me. the sex? Because I have a video of him okay, let's see that. being in public and being gross. My lady. Damn. Oh my God. Honestly? Oh my God. Do you see what I'm talking about? I don't think that's happening with just me. Do you so, see what I'm saying? Like, open the door for her. <laughs> did you see you cat done for her? You call it's me my lady. Job. You know, be it's not, what you're be supposed respectful. to do. Mr. Mendez, you're in good shape with me. Don't you know. worry. Thank you. Thank you. She had my account leaked to hers, and I had her account leaked to my IG. But recently, she got on my phone and took her account off. Why? Because, what does he need my account for? <laughs> 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 <laughs>The thing B also is that she has the passwords to my social media account. And As I should. What she don't understand is she be getting <laughs> upset when I change my password. But the only reason I be changing my password is because when she gets in it, she changes my password constantly. And I don't remember what Do password it is. Do you change his passwords? I changed his passwords if he changed it before. It was, we knew what it was. He changed it. So when I went in his phone, I changed it so I would know it. Well, how did you get in the phone to change it if you didn't know it? My oh, phone. his social media password. I have, I have his, um, I have the thumbprint in his phone, so I can get in his phone <laughs> at any time. But his, his social, social media, media, he'll change. Now, why are you logging in and out of social media if you're not hiding? Do you follow him on your, on his social media? Yeah. No, you see, she has my, uh, we both. She had my account leaked to hers, and I have her account leaked to my IG. But recently, she got on my phone and took her account off. Why? Because, what does he need my account for? Mm. <laughs> it's hey, I'm Ooh, Miss Graham! Yes? <laughs> what you doing over there? I'm not doing anything. Did I mention she also has my location on? Wait, she's got a tracker on your phone? For the friend, on the iPhone, there's a friends thing that you can track your friends. Did they give you permission? Really? Yes. Yeah. And it's not very effective. Let me tell you that. But she don't believe that because when she be, I'll be driving and I'll be at a stop and it shows that I'm at a certain location. For instance, uh, there was a time where I was driving by at a bakery, I believe, and I caught a red light. I was cool for a while and then I left. She later on messaged me. She's like, what the hell are you doing at a bakery? <laughs> where are you, what you doing? Well, I'm okay. like, what are you no, talking about? No, no, You See, the way you paint the picture is so wrong. First of all, he said he was going to a basketball game with his friends. Now, mm -hmm. if you're going to a basketball game, why are you at a bakery that's nowhere near the basketball game? And I can see that on your GPS. So I FaceTime him, and he doesn't answer. Then he takes some time and texts me that, he, uh, that it was wrong. I was like, I'm looking at the GPS. And he said, oh, well, no, I'm not there. So my eyes are apparently just deceiving me now, mm -hmm. so. So what do you think occurred when you were at the bakery with, Slash without, basketball without authorization? Game. Without <laughs> authorization. I was just driving around. I'm uh, just saying. Look, I don't think it's that bad to pass by a bakery, get a quick snack, and go. I don't think it's such a big thing to also, mention a full a thing. Like, I've been at the bakery when I just want to pick something up. So he can't, so he, let's say he going somewhere. Uh-huh. Driving down the road, he said, ah, there's a subway. 
Let me go over there and have one. If you find out he's at Subway, mm -hmm. are you going to have a problem with it? No. I don't, I, I'm not going to have a problem with that. I just think you should let me know where you're going. <laughs> so having my tracker in and up, she wants me to physically tell you her where I'm going to. You should be alarmed. I, oh, no, you should. <laughs> no, you should. I'm just glad people are here. Early singing. warning signal. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, mm -hmm. that's a whole lot of accountability that you're looking for. I mean, in this day and age, I feel like it's necessary. <laughs> People are out here just, just doing whatever. I, I want to be secure with what I have. I don't want people in my relationship let if I say can. This, no, 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 let me say this to you. Hmm. Is she got a real business? No, no, I don't see the money anywhere. My money is my money, period. Ooh, you, so, see? Mm, you see how it just... <laughs> That's not even it. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. You'll never be secure in what you have if your sole security is dependent upon somebody else. He may be the man of your dreams. He may be Mr. Forever. He may be the guy you can make it with for 40 years, but he could also get hit by a bus tomorrow. Mm. I hate it when women come in here mm -hmm. and have their game plan attached just to a dude. You should have a game plan of your own that oh, includes do. this dude. I do. But it's not about this dude. Yeah. No. Well, what's your game plan? I have a business. I just don't work for someone else, so I'm not going to So be... you're making money? Yes. A real business. Yes. You're not just goofing around. No. Is she got a real business? No, oh, no, I don't see the money anywhere. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what business you need to talk about. I just talked about bills. Because I don't know. Because my money is my money, period. Ooh, you, so. see? Mm, you see how it just. <laughs> That's not even it. It and I mentioned earlier is. in the relationship, she had admitted to going on these dating apps to see what's out there for a cool second. Did you do that? I did, but it was because he had his own little dating app uh, time. So I thought, hey, why don't well, I join the game? You want a dating app, Mr. Mendez? Beforehand, yeah. I told, oh. I told her I was on a dating app before we officially started dating. And I told right. her that once we... Wrong. Cool. It might have stayed on my phone a little bit longer, but besides that, it got... You know, easy. you know, it's oh. really weird. Women are like, you know... I like you, it's January 1. So January 2, I can't have any signs that you had a previous life. Anybody that used to be attached, blah, 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 oh my God. You know, things kind of have to happen. Relationships evolve over time. Right. People drift off, it's not like, ah, January 2, midnight. Oh no. Everything goes away. Like I said, I want security, and I understand where you're coming from, but I feel like if I'm not secure with this person, if this person isn't showing me that they're here for me and just for me, then maybe I need to start seeing who else wants to be here just for me. I don't know what else a man could do. He's working. He's li you're, you're living off of his money. You keeping all your money to yourself. He's got you've got all of his passcodes. You track him on the on the Facebook. I mean, what? I mean, what does he have to do? Jump out of an airplane with a, with a suit that says, see, I, "I really do love you." And I believe that all comes from her ex. Uh huh. Uh, he done some stuff. I believe you know she thought to her you know that broke her trust. That was uncool. That was yeah. uncool. And I, I understand that, you know, that's to his point. But the issue is she brings him up constantly, regard, like... Do you bring him up a lot? Um, I let him know beforehand that I had trust issues and what I'd been through. So, yeah, I bring him up when I feel that he is showing the same exact behavior that I've seen in the past. A wise woman mm. speaks not of the last guy to the new guy. The thing is, look, I stand very 
tall in my truth, okay? You cannot make me feel like I am crazy for doing the things that I'm doing. I might be crazy, but not for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it just is what it is. I need to know that you're for me. It's too many diseases out here. It's too many, go, too many things going on. And I need to know that I'm gonna be healthy, we're gonna be healthy, and we're gonna be in this together, period. Mr. Mendez, you brought her here because you said you want $700 for uh, the iPhone back because yeah. you're leaving it, but you ain't going nowhere, yeah, right? right? So what happened with the phone was she had a phone previously. Uh -huh. I accidentally went to go to the car to go get her purse, and I right. didn't know her purse was open. Her phone was just there. So when I pulled it, her phone fell, broke, it stopped working. She got upset because she's usually on her phone constantly doing stuff. So I felt bad. I was like, you know what? I'll purchase her a new phone. Right. I got her a new phone, cool. You know, I didn't have an issue with it. But then she started being stuck on the phone too much. And then she decided that it would be okay if I started paying her bill since I got the new phone for her. And I just feel like I got the phone I already. I feel like that was a... I mean, we both agreed on that one, but <laughs> whatever. Both agreed on it, but if she's going to be tracking me and do, using the phone for all this nonsense, I feel like she should be paying for it if she want to be tracking me like that. Yeah. First of all, I well, <laughs> first of all, I'm not awarding anybody any money because I know ain't nobody leaving nobody here. <laughs> you living at his house and you just think she is the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> so I know that you two are gonna leave here together. I also think that number one, uh, uh, you're an attractive couple. Thank you. Number two, you're good people. Thank number you. three. If you were my daughter, I'd pop you in the head for, for, for <laughs> living with you. And I oh. you with a dude, and I'm married. That's just me. That you know, that's just between you and me. Right. Uh, um, <laughs> if you were my son, I'd pop you in the head <laughs> because she's got you on a short leash. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? I get that. You see, Get way, a little distance there, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just. Well, be, but I mean, you, no, 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 no. There's a way to be happy in love. Oh, I And know. it's got nothing to do with GPS tracking or knowing <laughs> where a dude is. Happy in love is I ain't heard from my husband in three days and it don't bother me. Mm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's Something happy in love. could be wrong, love. though. Huh? I'm just saying. Three what? days? <laughs> <laughs> A chick is busy. She can't I have things well, to do. Hey, I guess. That, to be secure is to not know where they are and not know what they're doing and really believe that he's not doing anything to hurt me. And he believes the same thing. And if you get that kind of love, then that's the kind of love that will secure you. You can only secure love from the inside out, not from the outside in. There's absolutely no way to do that. I think you're charming. Thank you. And I want you to be careful, be loving. Always. Continue to use birth control. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so warning. <laughs>Give him a little space, though. The leash only goes as far as the trust goes. <laughs> that's but do you think I that's feel. your own insecurities there? It <laughs> could be some of my insecurities. I'm working on that. I mean, seven to ten times a, a day, my it, friend. It might be a little too much, man, but I can't help it sometimes. All right, you guys are good. Good luck to you, too. Right, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. much.